Good morning everyone, what's going on this morning? We are AIing some of our stud pole doors that you use today. As you can see. In the shed ready to go, about 110 to do. The vet's coming about 12 I think. So firstly a couple of weeks ago we put things called cedars in the ewes. And what that does is, is stops the ewes from cycling for, yeah, they were in for two weeks or 13 or 14 days. Then we took them out on Wednesday morning and gave them an injection of Novamon, which is this stuff here. Um, what that does is sort of starts the ewe cycling. So I think it's something like 50, 52 hours or something after they've given that injection, they start cycling and, and that's when you AI them then. So that's what we're doing today using two different types of semen well not types two different um, studs so spring water stud at brewer and then hilden stud at banister uh, two different rams so we used the spring waters ram last year and he went really well so we're trying a different one this year the girls are looking pretty good though so they've actually been off water off food and water since uh today's friday morning it's wednesday night they've been off off food and water so we've got will and terry coming out to give us a hand so we've got a the vet brings two cradles here you'll see this but um we've got to tip them upside down and sit them in the cradle and then roll them over and they get sedated too just to try just to calm them down doesn't quite knock them out but it's not far off so the reason we ai is is mainly to get some is mainly to get some better genetics in the flock so obviously we can go out and buy some rams but but these these rams are semen we're using is uh, rams that have been kept in behind for for the breeder's own stud because they're they showed shown really good type and, and quality of polled orset sheep so you know by ai and we can get semen off off some really high-end rams um, without having to buy, buy buy a ram so obviously this is the shearing shed but we um had to give it a really good clean out as you could imagine, it's a surgical procedure, so everything's got to be nice and clean and and hopefully as sterile as it can be. Yeah, gave all the floor a wash, like we do before shearing anyway, but gave it another wash. They're still, even though they've been locked up for for a couple of days, they're still um, going to the toilet. So I've actually also just got to put um, probably get up there and put a bit of tin up there like over that skylight and possibly that one too just because it needs to needs it to be dark or darkish in the shed here so no no direct sunlight which um that's a new bit of perspex or whatever it is so it, it's pretty pretty clear and bright so I'll just have to do that at some point maybe that one too once the procedure is formed they're on like a trolley thing that you wheel out and we'll just let them go out here swings across there and then they walk outside and I'll just let them wander just down the paddock onto some rye grass um, just got to keep you've sort of got to keep them pretty calm and once it's done because they can can still sort of abort sort of day or two afterwards so just got to be pretty gentle with them and just let them let them wander down the paddock there another thing we also got to do too is because we're using two different rams we just have to mark the first 50 55 of them uh, so that we know obviously the fathers of, of the different types. We just use a bit of branding fluid over there and that stays on them for a really long time. That'll, that'll stay on them till, um, till we actually mark the lambs then, so that'll be good. We actually had a meeting with, because um, all these ewes have got electronic tags in them, but we haven't actually done anything with the software yet, but we had a fella come out and have a chat to us last week about uh, what, what the best thing to use, what the best software for us to use was. Um, I think we're going to go with a true test, just buy a new true test monitor. So we got, we put our old true test monitor here, but it doesn't, it won't. Um, you can't actually put any data into that and onto the tag. So we're going to buy a new one of them. I think, and that then it'll work with our Shearwell wand 
So they got shear well tags in them, so that'll work. The true test will hook up to our shear well wand, and then we'll be able to actually start start using them. Which it's un probably unfortunate we didn't have it today because that's actually thinking about it now that that's something we could have actually used the tags for today was putting the different fathers in that just come out with scan them, put which father this one was going to be joined to, and then you know that'd be on the tag. Then we wouldn't have to brand them. So that's unfortunate, but. It's expensive, but not in the grand scheme of things, I suppose. We've just got to go and do it. I think it might be five or six grand for for um, a new monitor from memory for the one we're going to get. It's a bit better. Might just have to move it over a little bit. Just put a bit of tin on top there. So it's a bit dark in here. With this is that the, the, the sedation is also a pain relief. Yep. So they have sedation and pain relief before the procedure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other thing with this is that we can't get frozen semen Yes. Like they can with cattle. Why can't we get it? Why can't we get frozen semen in that way? Uh, the cervix, the cervix and cows. It's just a little bit uh, sort of. There's a bit of overlapping, right. but you can still get in fairly easily. In sheep, it's really overlapping in there, right. and there's too many corners, and you just can't. Yeah, okay. You just can't do yep. it. So the cervix is designed that way to stop infection yep. getting in, and um, so yeah, you just cannot. So right. when they do. Uh, they can do fresh AI and they just deposit it in the vagina. Yeah, yeah. But the only way to get through the cervix is to yeah, okay. frozen semen. It's, it's not good enough to go through the cervix. Yep. 
you've got to put it into the, right into the uterus. Oh, I mean, I, I work, but um, like I've still got a lot of rams in the shed I'm trying to collect. So I don't have, I don't have set hours for the surgery. So you, so the rams at the, at the surgery? Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's a ram shed next to the surgery. Yeah. And I'm still trying to finish a heap off there. So when when they're stuffed, like the ones that get stuffed for the shows, they, they, they'd be a bit hard sometimes to get. Oh, well, a lot of rams, they'll come in, they'll be no good, they'll go home for a while, they'll come back in again, we try them again. Some of them, are, they need them for an AI program. Yeah. Some of them, they need them for trial. There's all these trials that are going on. Yeah. Um, like the last three months, I've hardly been in the surgery one day. Yeah. The girls, the girls are there. They, they do most of it. Salmon pellet. Yep. Chop it in there. That would have heated up a lot of water. Hmm, it's done it's, it's done a few years. <laughs> it just it just keeps on yeah, going. Yeah. It must be a, like a very simple yeah. process in there. Yeah, well. Old school. Old school was built to last. Yeah, that's true. New probably, ones. probably made in Australia too. Yeah, I think they were this mm -hmm. one. This one, this one, and then that that one there. Oh yeah. Yeah. They were the bar. They were locally made. And they're both. Oh, so they're both about thirty years old. Yeah. Others have been letting others out as we've been doing them, so this is just the last little mob to go. And that's another day of AIing done, which is good. It's about, no, oh, it's about 6.30 now, but we're probably finished about 5.30, I think. Just been having a yarn and uh, packing up and everything, but no, that went really well. Couldn't have asked for a better day for it. Everything went smoothly. I think we did 108 or 9 views um, with two different types of semen. So that was good, about 
oh, about 53 with one and the rest with the other. So, no, it worked well. Appreciate Ron and uh, Harry letting me film a bit of the procedure, which was really good. He talked me through it a bit too, which was even better. So, no, I really appreciate it when people people do that. Thanks to Terry and Will too. They come out and help. It was a big help having four people lifting those big Yeezy up into the cradles. Really makes a difference, so thanks to them as well. But um, we just let them wander out of the yards and they're just coming down here. I'm um, going through down to the ryegrass paddock down here. They might know where that trough is. They might have had a drink too, but that would have been the main thing they would have been looking for, I'd say. Okay, so we've got to sort of not leave them alone for the next day or two just to, you know, because they can still lose the... Um, Still abort the lamb, I suppose you'd call it, um, in, the, in the next couple of days if you sort of disturb them too much. So just got to leave them alone for a day or two um, down here and then we'll, we'll get them in. And we just marked them with a bit of chalk, um, the different size, but we'll have to get them in and put a more, um, more permanent uh, paint on them just so that and then that'll last all the way through to, to lamb marking then so we know who the fathers are. I think I said it this morning, but ideally we would have had them on the electronic tag, but I actually couldn't get the um, ear tag reader to work. So I think I said about how good technology was, but when it doesn't work, it's a pain in the neck. So there you go, there's a classic example. But no, that's a, that's a, that's a good job done now. Um, question of the video, what's the gestation period of a sheep? Put that down below if you know, if you don't have a guess. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I, I sort of hope it was pretty interesting. Um, once again, I appreciate Ron and Harry letting me film a bit of the, the procedure and things. So uh, it's much appreciated. I, I um, was asking a few for questions and things too, so I'll probably put a few subtitles in the videos. But no, I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, absolutely put them down below. There might be a few on this one. So. Hit that subscribe button and with that we'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, see ya. Bye.